Good day, ladies and gentlemen. And today's cigar is the Kristoff. There you go. Get a look at that. It is the Kristoff GC Signature Series 660, which is 6x60. Uh, doesn't tell me the wrapper leaf. It is a Maduro uh, wrappers from Brazil, and it is a double Toro size. It didn't give me a whole lot of information with this, and I kind of looked around on the web, and there wasn't a whole lot of information either, but I guess this is new, so... Hopefully some stuff will turn up. But anyway, we will go for it. Now, the thing I like about this cigar is it has the curly Q on the top. Can you see that? I kind of like that. It's a little different. And it has the rough foot. I kind of like a rough foot too. Now, call me nostalgic, I don't know, but it kind of reminds me of cigars I've seen that was made years and years and years ago back before the big time manufacturing processes of today. I mean, still they're handmade, don't get me wrong. A craftsman had to put this together, but still. Uh, you know, I like them a little rough like this. So, anyway. Let's see if we can get this band off here. It is being a bit stubborn. Just a bit. It is not wanting to come off. Okay, I think I get, may have it here. Give it a try. There we go. Oh, uh, didn't. Not perfect, but not bad. Alright. Mmm, good aroma on the wrapper leaf. Real good. Yep. Definitely tell. Good, strong Maduro. It's going to be a full-bodied cigar. Getting a lot of... Uh, it's a bit of sweetness to it, smells like. Not like candy or anything, but... More of a... Um, I don't know. It's weird. Sweet. Earthiness to it. All right. Now the nice thing, one of the reasons I like this, not only is it just kind of nostalgic, but it's ready to smoke. That easy. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Good pre-draw on it. Definitely peppery. Tell it's going to be a good one. Good, strong cigar. I guess this is the strongest in the Kristoff line, is what I was told at the tobacco shop. But, by the way, I picked these up at a Low Ball Louis Tobacco Shop in Lady Lake, Florida. If you're in the area, stop in. Nice place. Good people. Nice staff. Go out of their way to help you out. You got a nice smoking lounge in there. Uh, they got coffee available, big screen TV. There's usually a few people in there having a smoke, have a good conversation with. Stop in and check it out. Tell them y'all said hi. Or I said hi. Let's see. Yeah. It's got, um... I don't know. Can't quite describe what I'm getting. So, let's just put some fire to it and see what happens. Mmm. Mmm. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's a full bodied smoke right there. I like that bad boy. Mm hmm. Yeah, this one here would wrestle you down and take advantage of you if you wasn't careful with it. A lot of pepper. Very peppery. Very. Um, got some serious kick to it. 
Now, it's not harsh or bitey or burny or anything like that. It's a smooth smoke, don't get me wrong. But it's definitely, yeah, it's a, it's a full-bodied smoke. Not for the beginner. I would not suggest this for a beginner unless they want to turn green real quick. <laughs> Yeah, just a hint of a sweetness in there. It's mystifying. Usually, you know, a Maduro wrapper like this, you don't get a lot of that unless it's like a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper, but it's there. Good earthiness to it, real good. Mmm. Yeah. I got a feeling this is going to be a real good one. So, well, I'll give this a pause and then I'll give you an update about halfway through and see where we're at. As you can see, we're coming down to halfway here. Pretty good smoke. Excellent construction. It's held up very well. Wrapper is beautiful. Getting a little bit of an oily sheen to it. I don't know if you can see it on there. Yeah. Just coming up nicely. Still getting good smoke through it. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, definitely a full-bodied cigar. No kidding around about that. Getting peppery, spicy, a um, uh, lot of earthiness to it. Some, a uh, lot of meat, a lot of, lot of. Yeah, this is a cigar you can chew on, get good out of. Um, yeah, really, really like it be a good cigar with a nice strong coffee you know like an espresso or something like that it would match well with that very good nice cigar for after a good steak meal yeah very good so anyway uh, I'll give it a pause here and uh, update you when we finish up well as you can see we're down to the end of it here been a real good smoke uh, can't complain good strong stick like I like them uh, still uh, still get a lot of pepper it's starting to get a bit of a bite now but that's probably just because I smoked it down so far uh, yeah very good smoke I'd highly recommend it so yeah if you give it a try <coughs> excuse me um, tell us what you think in the comments below please like and subscribe and as always have a good day ladies and gentlemen